Now I see in my guild currently is merging with the other guild and I see a lot of people get uh, this, I don't know if the word is fear, that they, that they don't have the power to actually join the new guild because the requirement of the new guild is more higher from what they actually have as uh, power. Currently I have uh, 745 power. For example, the requirement is uh, 900k, uh, so yeah, in this video I'm going to show some tips and tricks how you can increase your power. So first let's start with the Goblin Market. Now why Goblin Market is if you're, you're going to need to use the speed ups, definitely. But when the Goblin Market is uh, on, don't actually use up any kind of speed ups. Uh, just because the goblin market actually refresh when you're updating buildings, trading, trading legions and blah blah blah. So why is important the goblin market is because it provides speed ups. Uh, that you can trade for example for resources or maybe with huge discount for gems. So maybe I'm not so sure if the goblin market will actually arrive if I speed up this, uh, this force. We're gonna try. No, it's not calm. <laughs> but anyway, you get the, the idea. Always finish your buildings, finish your soldier training when the goblin market is not here. I think it's for one hour and a half. And like this, you will be able to get cheap speed ups, uh, which will be later. Yeah, use it in the uh, power up other buildings that will increase your power. Also, the Shaman Hunts provide pretty nice uh, power. It's uh, close to 2000 power for 5 hours. That is pretty huge. So keep in mind also the buildings that provide uh, big, uh, big power when you use your speed ups. Because here the important thing is just to get your power up. And you may actually build something use, useless stuff, but anyway, the next uh, the next tip is actually going on your heroes. Now, if you have a gathering heroes like me, for example, uh, Kewa, she have pretty interesting talents, and she, her talents is basically this one, Earth Grace, which will give you 20, 000, 12, uh, 000 exper experience per day per day. And here, with uh, if you level up her over here, you gain you get twenty thousand experience per day. Now the interesting things about the gutters is when they gutter, they can if you if it's level twenty or more, they can hold a second hero. And by getting the second hero involved, you can get, for example, uh, experience to other hero. This hero don't have a guttering. This also. And by gathering, you can get pretty insane experience. Here is four to close to five thousand experience, eleven thousand experience. You get the idea. You basically need gathering heroes, and if they're not so developed, maybe use some books to boost your gathering heroes, and just go and gather some uh, materials. You nine thousand over here. Uh, you can get your heroes level it up. Now why it's important to actually level up your heroes? First of all it will give I, I think between two and 300 uh, power per level up and by just I just get this new hero. Uh, where is she? Yeah this one. Kinara. She's a new currently is in the spinning crows. Uh, spinning quail or something like this. And I get her and I just did only one gathering with her. Um, where is she? Yeah. Only one gathering with her and she get 9000 experience and she go to level 10. So if you go to her and first of all for 10 levels you're going to get between 2 and 3000 power. And here you can go at the talents. This is the talent that is basically a starting point. I still don't know where I'm going to level up her. But anyway, you just upgrade that. See, 5000. 500. 500. 500. So by one gathering, <clears throat> I get boosted close to four or 5000 uh, power. 
and this is just a small thing so you can get all your heroes that actually have available i don't know you may have less heroes from me i have some pools with my golden keys so i get lucky and get a lot of these uh heroes here but all the heroes you actually have like you see all my heroes is leveled up they are not leveled up to a point where i have to decide something for example this one is just leveled up on this point uh so i didn't actually decide on which where i i will go but there are definitely a lot of uh, power you can get just by heroes so the next thing yeah uh, i want to point is uh the heroes artifacts what i mean by that each hero at the corner here have some something like artifact you can put artifact now i think at the beginning you get a lot of uh, keys and you can go in the arena universal artifact uh, blah 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 and you get these keys you can get draw epic or legendary it didn't actually matter uh and you're going to get different artifacts and by going to the hero for example like i said this one you can always change the artifact this hero actually have so currently i boost back by four or five thousand my power just with this hero just from one gathering now i'm going to put uh some maybe artifact to boost more at my attack power more so i will put this legendary here uh axe currently because my infinity is currently using this one which is Urata rat i think this is my hero <laughs> i don't actually Oh, this is Kinara, sorry. So, you can get and put this, uh, for example, artifact on the hero. And by... Uh, what? Kinara is on the in the field. Ah, okay. Do I have some other hero that actually don't have nothing on him? Like you see, all my heroes have something uh, on them. Even in the, we, we have these things that is gathering speed. <laughs> I just put it on my mage. But the point is, yeah, all of them actually need to have something that will increase the power. So, if I actually get her, just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to see where she is. Okay, she's uh, with Kewa. Currently, I'm working on the experience. So where is this lady over here? I'll just turn it back. Okay, level up. Dagon, did you see that? We get level up. That is nice. Going to get a report uh, with what kind of experience we actually get. And I'm going to put her artifacts with which will actually increase more the power. And I'll go in the second tip uh, where with the artifacts how you can increase your power so till kill actually come out so you understand you wait to use your speed ups when the goblin market is currently like this not available since you need to build or train soldiers to come again you get speed ups on discount maybe with resources maybe with gems with a 70 percent discount or something like this because for the gems the discount is way way higher and yeah you just uh you just uh, more speed ups uh and also watch which building how much power it give this will give close to close to 2000 power it's level 10 but if you go on other level 10 for example i don't know do i have other level 10 uh, for example this one even here is three hours okay but the power that it will increase is uh 666 which is not that much so you have to be really precise with the time you actually have to get this power so uh keo is here so we can actually put the she get level 11 by the way just uh from the report get 2000 experience and we didn't even uh gather that much so going on the hero and we're going to put this 
legend epic is basically epic think and 5300 power and like this you get 10000 power just for gathering in half uh, I didn't even put a lot of points on her. I just put the first three points on, on this hero uh, From the talents just this one since I don't know where I'm going to go this is important also Maybe March speed or something like this, but anyway, you get my point and like this with one hero you get 10,000 power You can use your speed ups on the buildings that is uh, giving more power like shaman hunt Alliance Center also give pretty nice power. Is I don't see how much time is actually the building, but it will give uh, how much this three thousand five hundred and yeah. Like this, you use less speed ups. Also, you can go here in the Seer Council. Always level up your Alliance Center first, and when you see all the Alliance is actually put their help. Uh, you can then use your speed ups that is also important because you want to get the big the biggest value that you can have just from the alliance center and this is the first building i level up after i built my citadel so i hope this video was helpful for you guys uh, i hope you enjoyed if you do hit one like subscribe and see you in the next video thanks for watching